Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Noel Harrison. Let's sing an old-fashioned song I'll tell you lies all night long Then we'll pretend that the world is a fairy story Let's sing an old-fashioned song Let's do an old-fashioned dance Candles and wine and romance then I can say that I'll love you forever while we sing, while we lie, while we dance. And now I would like you to meet my wife, Sarah. Is this Sarah Harrison? Is this Sarah Harrison? Or is this Noel Harrison's wife, Sarah? Well, we'll soon find out as they try to fool this panel. Bert Convey, Danny White, Orson Dean, Kitty Carlisle, plus 100 of the people in our studio audience on To Tell the Truth. <laughs> this portion of To Tell the Truth is brought to you by new cherry-flavored chocks plus iron for children, the plus to grow on. And now here's our host on To Tell the Truth, Bud Collier. Thank you very much, and welcome again to To Tell the Truth. Oh, my. Very nice to welcome this gentleman who's sitting beside me right now. He's a man of many, many, many talents. He's a musician, he's a singer, a composer, actor, and as a matter of fact, based on what we saw at the start here, somewhat of a dancer, I would say. <laughs> and most people don't know that he was twice a member of the British Olympic skiing team. So let's start this first part of our game with Kitty Carlisle. Thank Kitty. you, Bud. I remember hearing about your skiing from your father. Ah. Tell me, where did you first meet your wife? In Switzerland. And what were you doing? We were doing a, a television commercial. Oh, and she was on too? That's, that's yeah, four she was on mostly. I, I, was, uh, four. I was on incidentally. Four for her. <laughs> okay, Bert. Four questions, and all three of them were mine. Good, good. <laughs> Can't believe it. Don't waste time now. Mr. Harrigan, Use. it's a pleasure to see you. Uh, oh, Harrison. I know. I'm saying it because I saw, <laughs> I saw Noel on a Jerry Lewis show, and I couldn't get his name. It was a very funny show. <laughs> Listen, uh, your wife is a performer. Is that right? No. Oh. <laughs> Betty. She's not a parent. Noel, what, what is your, what, in your opinion, the best record that you've made? In my opinion, the best record that I've the made? The one that you, you really think is, the, is your best work. The last one. Oh, but that's commercial. That's what you No, do. that's not commercial. <laughs> really? I hope the last one's, and I hope the next one's going to be better. You know? Right, and what's the last one? Um, well, the last track that I actually cut, I guess the last record I had out, oh, wait a minute, Santa Monica Pier, yeah. That's is that it. the one you yeah. think, in your opinion, is awesome. the one you enjoy? Yeah. Why did you steal Bud Collier's water? <laughs> I, I saw you. I gave it to him. You gave it to him, humbug, yeah. sir. You're just trying to cover up for a felony. <laughs> On what label is uh, Santa Monica oh, Pier? That's what I want. Gee, um, yes. <laughs> a reprise. Reprise <laughs> records. All right, a little plug there. Kitty. Is there anything about your wife, Noel, that you really hate? No. Nothing at all? No. Come on. How about her, about you, Bert. What? What is something that you do that aggravates her terribly? That you have to ask her. I, I don't know. Uh, Betty. All right, Noel, if, if not about your wife, what is your pet hate? What do you really not like? Um, dishonesty. Broads who ask questions on television. I know. I know. <laughs> How many babies do you have? Four. Wonderful. Kitty. Thank Where you. are they all? They're all in California. Uh, you live there? Yeah. Now you, Bert, you said you were, uh, you were making a commercial in Switzerland when you met your wife. Yes. Now, what was your wife doing? There. She was making a commercial. With you? Yeah. Oh, so mm. she does make television commercials. No, she did it she did at that time. She doesn't anymore. She used uh, to be a model, you see. I, right. Betty. Okay. Okay. How tall is your wife now? <laughs> <laughs> That's all the time we have for this questioning. You've learned a little about Noel Harrison and his wife, Sarah Lee. Let's ask the ladies now to please come in from their soundproofed room. <laughs> Adjustable. 
All right, panel, let's see if you can find out now which of these ladies is married to Noel Harrison. We'll start with uh, Orson B. I have to disqualify myself <coughs> because I know one of these charming ladies. However, I would like to take up my time to say a few words. Never mind. Thank you very much. <laughs> Kitty Carlisle. Number one, have you given up whatever hopes you had for a career? Yes, I have. And you don't mind that? No, not in the least. Number two, do you know Noel's mother's name? Yes. What is it? It's Noel Marjorie Thomas before. Thank you. Uh, number three, is he hard? Do you cook for him, by the way? No, I don't. You don't cook at all? No. Does it, number one, does he cook? Yes, he can cook. And is he any good? Very good. Number two, what is worst fault? I, I couldn't sort of, you know, no, you nothing that's really sort of Number flexible. three, did you fall in love with him at once in this, during this commercial? Yes, I did. And number one, did he fall in love with you right away? Of course. <laughs> That's my girl. <laughs> Bert Convey. Thank you, bud. Number three, uh, if, I, if memory serves me right, your husband was on the, uh, the English Olympic swimming team. Now, uh, it wasn't the swimming team. It was the skiing team. Is that right? Okay. <laughs> uh, number two, <laughs> number two you're, you met your husband doing a commercial. Uh, we don't want to give the pl product a plug, but what kind of a thing was it? That you were, toothpaste. A toothpaste. Number one, uh, who cooks for the kids if, if you don't? Uh, I've got a lady that cooks for the kids. I see. And you got a man that cooks for Noel? No, you wouldn't. No, no, she cooks for Noel too. I see. Now, what, number three, what about traveling? You've got a, quite a brood. Now, your husband's all over the country, all over the world, I guess. What do you do about that? Well, we usually try to go together, if it's at all possible. Okay. Betty White. Thank you, bud. Number two, you said his mother's name was Thomas. Now, that, that throws me right off there. Number two, number one, when was this commercial made? I'm very bad at dates. I'm afraid I can't remember. Number three, do you remember when this was made? No, I don't. Number two, do you? No. You really don't? No, I really have forgotten. It. About, about how many years, approximately, give or take ten? Well, it was, uh, <laughs> let me think. I suppose about, I can't remember, it was 50. It's now seven. Ought 57. Okay. 57, about sort of, well, it's 11 years ago. <laughs> Number three, what is your husband's uh, favorite recording that he has made? His favorite recording? Mm -hmm. I think Susanna. That's all we have time for. So mark your ballots, if you will, please, without any consultation, and uh, time for our studio audience to vote. So audience, when I say vote, please select number one, number two, or number three. Are you ready? Vote. All right, let's see how our panel voted. Are all ballots marked? No. No? Okay. <clears throat> now they are? Yeah. Okay. Bert, for whom did you vote? I think they're all married to him. I, I don't know how he worked it, but it's, <laughs> it's great. <laughs> but since I have to pick somebody, I, I think number two is married to Noah. Betty. She was really trying not to fib. Number one looks like a ski type person. And number three, I don't think looks like the mother of four. She probably has 74. I think it's number two. 74? Well, Orson. Number, well, the real one is, uh, doesn't look like the mother of four either, but she was found in the mountains of Peru by Noel when he was down there. That's a disqualification. Oh, I see. All righty. Uh, <laughs> Kitty. I voted for number one because um, they all have beautiful smiles, but I think number one is the real toothpaste girl. And when she said, of course he fell in love with me at once. She's got spunk. All right. Let's see who got the most votes from our studio audience. Our audience voted for... Number one. Noel, would you go over and pick out your wife, Sarah Lee, please? What are you planning next season that might be exciting for you? Some producing, some directing, acting? Well, I've got, I'm doing uh, some specials, and I'm oh. producing them with my own company, which is going to be nice. It means I can decide, you know, do it all myself. Will we see them in this country? Well, they're going to be in there. Oh, I live great. in this country. Good, good, good. Well, That is exciting. Ah, uh, Orson's at it again. <laughs> what are the ages of your children? Um, 13, uh, 9, and 6, and 3. 
What a wonderful, wonderful family. Give them all a kiss for us, will you? Yeah, I will. It was nice having you with us, believe me. Don't go yet. We'll leave. Okay. I'll talk to the others first and find out who they are. Number two, what is your real name and what do you really do? My name is Morva Mancy, and I'm a freelance fashion uh, coordinator and also merchandise editor for a magazine, baby magazine called Baby Talk. Thank you. And number two, number three, what is your real name and what do you do? My name is Anna Minka Brown, and I'm assistant product manager of L'Oréal of Paris. Thank you. In checking the score, we find that there were one, two incorrect votes, plus a disqualification, making it three. Three times $100. $300. Thank you all very much for gracing our show. Goodbye and God bless you. Our next guest on To Tell the Truth was separated from her younger sister when she was 18 months old. Last month, the two sisters met for the first time in over 30 years. We'll meet her in just one minute. Now, this word. All buttered up and still getting a beauty of a sunburn and a windburn on her hair. A burn that really hurts her looks. Now for dull, dry, weather-beaten hair comes the weather beater, Alberto VO5 hairdressing. Five conditioners bring relief in seconds, leave hair shining, healthy looking, easy to manage, protected from the weather. VO5 hairdressing, the weather beater. Regular or blue for gray, white, or silver blonde. All hairsprays hold well enough when you first put them on. But when you go outside, you need VO5 with Miro. Alberto VO5 with Miro really holds. And still, your hair looks soft and lovely. Anywhere. Orson, uh, which one of the ones did you know? Oh, I know sweet Sarah. Both she and Noelle are adorable people. So you are. A darling couple. I wish I was one of their kids. <laughs> <laughs> I heard you were. <laughs> All right, now let's meet one of our reunited sisters.
What is your name, please? My name is Vivian Perry. My name is Vivian Perry. My name is Vivian Perry. We'll play our game with Vivian Perry in just one minute. Now, this word. Because you never know when it can happen. Behold, with lemon oil, more than just a lemon fragrance. Thick and rich and loaded with protection. Because you never know when accidents can happen. Behold, with lemon oil. Because lemon oil and water don't mix. Metrical announces the great taste change, the greatest taste ever to pour out of a can. Richer, deeper chocolates, perky Danish coffee, luscious vanilla, only 225 calories. To help keep pounds off, have Metrical for lunch, eat sensibly at dinner. New taste and ready to serve. This portion of To Tell the Truth was brought to you by new cherry-flavored Chocks Plus Iron for children. The plus to grow on. The next portion of To Tell the Truth is brought to you by MediQuick First Aid Spray for little problems that shouldn't become big ones. All right, panel, let's get into the game simply by saying that these three ladies all claim to be Vivian, Vivian Perry. Last March, Vivian Perry found her long-lost sister after a separation of over 30 years. With that information, let's begin with uh, Bert Condi. Bert. Thank you, bud. Uh, Number one, what were the circumstances that caused the separation? When I was 18 months old, my mother died in childbirth. And uh, my grandparents, with whom I was staying at the time, kept me, and my father took my sister. I see. Number three, how long was it before you were aware that you had a sister? Um, for years, ever since I was small, growing up, I realized I had a sister, but no I didn't know where. Yes, number two. Uh, Bye. Betty White. Uh, number two, where did this take place? In Albany. In Albany. Uh, number one, is your sister older or younger than you? She's younger than I. Uh, number three, is your sister older or younger than you? She's younger. Oh, eight, eight. Well, oh, it, it was that was the oh. I beg your pardon. I was thinking there were. I was thinking that was the third baby. I beg your pardon. I'm who's counting after all. <laughs> number one, where did you find your sister? How did you find her? How did I find my sister? Uh, she found out about me later on and uh, came to look for me. I didn't know her name. She had a different last name, so I couldn't get in touch with her. Number two, when did you first 
Horse. Number two, uh, if, if number one story is correct, and I assume you agree with it, does this mean that your father was also uh, whereabouts unknown? Well, uh, my father um, took care of me for a time, and he was the one who put my sister in a foster home, and then since then he passed away. Well, number uh, three, uh, when you're si is that right? Was your sister put in a foster home? Yes, she lived with foster parents. Why wouldn't your father oh. have known where she went? Um, or was she adopted? The father did know, but there was um, an agreement whereby she was not to know. Kitty. Number two, how did she find out? Well, uh, she had gone to um, a wedding party, and a distant relative asked if uh, she ever kept in touch with me. And number one, what happened when you finally met? Uh, just as you can imagine, we were very pleased to see each other. And number three, does she live far from you now? Can you see each other frequently? Uh, no, she lives far from me. She lives in Miami. And is she married? Yes, she is. And number two, are you married? Yes, I am. Did you introduce your children to each other? They haven't met as of yet. And number one... That's all the time we have. So mark your ballots, if you will, please. And audience, again, when I say vote, will you please select number one, number two, or number three. You ready? Vote. Oh, mercy. <laughs> Very well, let's see how our panel voted. Have we all marked? All right, no, Bert, no. for whom did you vote? <coughs> I voted for number two. I think it's number one. But see, that way I cover myself. If I'm wrong, I can say, oh, yeah, well, I thought so. So I think it's number two. I also think you're pulling a trick on us, and I'll confirm it later. <laughs> Betty. Well, what am I going to do with number three? I can't, You're going to lose. I know the story of my life. No, it is a very tricky thing because uh, I'm going to say number three, but I have a hunch, the same hunch Bert has. I think we're being tricked. Orson. I think it's number one. She looks like uh, the girl from Buffalo or Albany, wherever it was, to caucus. And I believe that on the basis of this, that she's the correct one. Thank you. Kitty. I believe it's number three, but I believe one of the other two is the sister. Somehow, there's a sister and the real one, and they're all there together, right. and I can't wait to find out who it is. That's what I well, we'll find out how our audience voted and meet the real Vivian Perry in just one minute. Now, this message. A scratch, a minor cut. Bacteria, infection germs. Given a chance, germs will infect an open wound. MediQuick kills germs with more antiseptic strength than iodine. Kills them with three antiseptics. Three germ killers, one painkiller. MediQuick. For little problems that shouldn't become big ones.
My name is Betty White. The best way to celebrate Betty White's life is with a two-day tribute featuring our favorite Betty White episodes. First, all day Sunday, the password is Betty. Then Monday on Betty's birthday, we tell Betty's story from her earliest appearances to her final bow. The lovely and talented Miss Betty White. Buzzer says goodbye to the first lady of game shows. Betty White concludes all day today on Buzzer. All right, panel, let's see who got the most votes from our studio audience. Our audience voted for <laughs> number one. So it's time to find out which of these three ladies, in truth, found her sister after a separation of 30 years. Will the real Vivian Perry please stand up? And may you never lose touch, touch again. I hope It's a happy arrangement and that you just keep close touch with each other and your families. We hope to. Number one, what is your real name and what do you really do? My name is Joy Falk and I'm a speech therapist. Number two, what is your real name and what do you do? My name is Anita Ingram and I'm a housewife. Thank you. And checking the score, we find there were one, two, three incorrect votes. Three times $100, $300, ladies. Thanks for being with us. Hope you had a good time. Goodbye, and God bless you. We'll be back in a minute. Now, this message. Trampoline. No wonder the Wilsons are in good shape. Including Ida, my wife. Mother of five. Yet she keeps slim as her teenage daughter. How? Exercise and the right kind of foods. Like a post-grape nuts breakfast. It fills you up, not out. Gives you important protein. And only grape nuts have these crunchy nuggets. Enjoy a delicious post-grape nuts breakfast. It fills you up, not out. Post cereals make breakfast a little bit better. That's all we have time for, but it was a good time, and you made it so. Thank you, Bob. See you tomorrow. Thank you, right, See you tomorrow, too. In the meantime, don't you forget to tell the truth. This portion of To Tell the Truth was brought to you by Mediquick First Aid Spray for little problems that shouldn't become big ones.
To Tell the Truth is a Mark Goodson, Bill Todman production. The Harris's song and the preceding program were recorded.